Okay, hi guys. Um, you're on KSD's YouTube channel. Uh, this is a tutorial for Maya uh, for 3D animation, uh, showing how to put IK handles into the feet. And um, without all the jargon and stuff, it basically just sticks to your feet, your feet to the floor. Um, so if I were to lift the model up, the legs would uh, stick to the floor and would stretch to the floor when lifted uh, rather than just staying solid like that. Um, so this is the basic skeleton that I've got. Um, the mesh, which is here, has been uh, parented to the joints um, rather than smooth bound because it's a robot. I want to make it uh, kind of uh, I want the joints to be solid, so uh, if you move her like this, no, like this, she'll wiggle from side to side. But uh, IK basically stops the legs from just staying there. So uh, a couple of my friends in class were having trouble with it, and they asked me to do a tutorial for them in student language rather than experienced lecturer language. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, right, so let's turn the mesh off. So, you always want the joints in. Don't just rely on IK, they need the joints to stick to. Uh, you don't have to bother with control curves though when IK is in place, because, uh, except for on the feet, but I will show you what to do with that once the IK is in place. Um, for starters, assuming you are still in the polygon mode, you want to go to animation instead. So the menu up here changes, and uh, what you want to do, you want to go to uh, skin, is it skin or is it, yeah, okay, skeleton. You want to go to skeleton, and you want to go to IK handle tool. Now there should be two types. You've got uh, your IKSC solver and your IKRP solver. Now uh, you're going to have to bear with me while I try and remember which way round they are. Um, but I think it is the IKRP solver. Uh, so you want to click on that. Uh, that's all fine, you don't need to mess with any of that. And what you do, you go from, quite simple, you click on the hip, down to the ankle. Yeah, that's the right one. So then you get this little arrow. Um, and if it is pointing the wrong way, you need to correct that. Um, one thing I would always say is when you're putting IK in place, always make sure that the leg uh, or the knee is bent slightly. Um, because that will then make sure that the IK goes the right way, uh, points the right in the right direction. Okay, uh, so we want to do the same for this side. So we go to skeleton, IK handle hip to ankle and uh, if your feet point in slightly don't worry too much about that you can just correct that later um, so if we just push it that way joint orientation aborted right ball has non-zero rotations okay I don't know what that means um, I don't know what most of the errors on here mean, I just deal with it. Um, okay, so that's your IK handle for the hip to the ball. Then what you want, go to skeleton, IK handle, go to the little square. You want to change that to IKSC solver. Uh, again, don't mess with anything else, it's not necessary. And you click from the ball to the toe, from the heel to the toe. And uh, oops, enter. there we go. And you want to do the same for the other side as well. Heel, toe, like that. And so, if you lift that up, it sticks to the floor. See? And your knees will bend with it. Um, however, here I seem to have a problem because uh, my knees are bending inwards, which is not really what I want. So let's correct that. 
by putting in a locator, two in fact, one for each knee. So you go to create up here and you go all the way down to locator and hidden in this mesh down here you will then get a little bit of green empty space and uh, you just move that in front of the knee doesn't really matter how far away it is you want it kind of close um, but all this does it just keeps your knee facing straight um, when you attach it of course uh, so what you want to do and again, bear with me while I remember which way round it is. You want to click on, um, if you remember, you click on the child first and then the parent. You want to click on the IK. Yeah, man. Yeah, come on. And then you want to click on. Uh, shift click on the locator, you go to constrain and pole vector. No? Okay, so we'll click on the locator and then the IK and then constrain and pole vector. And then what you get, oh, let's click on that again, you get a line, or you should get a line. Um, let's just move that over here a bit. You see what it does? It twists the knee in a certain direction. And so this locator basically helps your knee stay straight. Okay. So let's do the same for the other side. Click off that. Create. Oh, no, 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 no. Wrong one. Create locator. Up. Across. And back. Doesn't matter if they're the same height or not. Um, as long as the knees are pointing where you want them to, it's all fine. Okay, so select. Ooh, no, go away. Didn't want you. Um, select that. Select that. And constrain. Pole vector. And there you have it. So when you have them walking, their knees will stay straight. Now, for the feet, um, it can get quite tricky. Um, trying to animate the feet separately because you also have to move the IK with the foot. However, there is a way to combat this and that is to draw a uh, NURBS circle, just randomly on the grid. Uh, shape it a bit. Shape it like this. Let's just get rid of this. I don't really need this. Um, and uh, let's just take that nerve circle. And I'm going to place it under the foot, like this, okay, Ooh, under the foot, not on top of it, like so, and uh, let's just make that a bit short, smaller, like that, and then you want to copy that and move it under the other one, okay, so you've got two little feet, two little Circles, ovals, I should say. Come back a bit. There we go. And then what you want to do, you want to click on everything. Um, you want to shift click everything, um, including the locator. Um, so that's your child, and then your parent. You shift click next, and then you parent it all to that by pressing the P button on your keyboard. And so when you move your foot, it moves everything with it. If you tilt it, it will move your knee, it will move the foot, like that. Okay, so just do the same with the other side. So you want to click 
that IK, that IK, oh, let's get rid of this, that IK, and then the locator. And then you want to shift click, the circle, and parent. So you have two working feet that can now be animated with ease. Like that. And just twist it to down there. Twist it to the side. There we go. Okay. And that, once you put your mesh back on. Ooh, hello. How's that doing that? Ooh, that's gone a bit wrong. Um, I don't know why that's done that, but uh, the basics are you have a foot. So when you do that, it uh, moves your entire leg. Um, and that is that. Uh, friends, I hope that was useful. Anyone else, I hope this is useful to you too. And that is it for my tutorial. Okay, I will see you later. Bye-bye now.